So now we're going to talk about marginal utility. So utility is your usefulness, okay. what you get from it. When we talk about marginal benefit, we're using our marginal utility, our happiness, our level of joy and usefulness, and we're quantifying it in terms of money. We want to keep uh, doing an activity until our marginal benefit equals our marginal cost. If my happiness is greater than the cost, we want to do more. If my happiness is less than the marginal cost, do less. Just a review on marginal. So marginal is for the next unit, the additional unit. So if I get one apple, and then two apples, and three, and four, and five apples, my total utility, my total happiness is, is getting, I'm getting happier and happier the more apples I have. But each apple that I get, each additional apple, is making me less and less happy. The first apple makes me the happiest. And by the time I have the fifth apple, okay, I'm getting less and less happy on each additional unit. This is known as the law of diminishing marginal utility or benefit. Okay. So we have the, let me, the law of okay, diminishing marginal benefit. The same can be said for any good or service within a period of time. Okay? Even if I were to give you a piece of gold, the first piece of gold, you can buy so much with it. Okay? And then the second piece of gold is giving you less happiness than that first piece of gold. Okay? So it's the law of diminishing marginal benefit. So here I have quantity and my marginal benefit. Let's say this is for a pizza buffet. This is quantity of pizza. So that very first slice of pizza you eat, you would be willing to pay 100. It makes you 100 happy. Okay? But each additional pizza, you're getting more and more full. And it's tasting less and less delicious. The sixth slice of pizza, you're not willing to pay any money for it. The seventh slice of pizza, you're actually willing to pay money not to eat. You're so full, you feel so sick, you would pay, you would be a negative one happiness to consume the seventh slice within this period of time. If we go to a buffet, we pay to get into the buffet. Once we're in the buffet, I can grab the slice of pizza, and my cost is free. Each slice I grab, my marginal cost is going to be zero, zero, zero. Okay. If I'm not at a buffet and I have to pay for each slice, let's say we pay uh, 10 per slice. So my marginal cost for the first slice is 10. My marginal cost for the second slice is also 10. So it's the cost for each additional unit. So each additional unit is costing me another 10, another 10, another 10, 10, and 10. My total cost, if I were to buy seven slices of pizza, under this method would be seven times the 10, 70. Looking at this diagram and this, con this rule, how many slices of pizza would I want to eat at a buffet? So at a buffet, I would want to eat six slices. But my marginal benefit equals my marginal cost. If I had to pay individual slices, I would stop at Four, okay. where my marginal benefit equals my marginal cost. Looking at this on a graph, where I have utility, or my cost, okay, and my quantity. So my benefit 
is falling. As I consume more, I'm getting less and less happy off each additional unit. And my marginal cost is, would be increasing from a producer standpoint. When we look at this graph, we'll settle on some price. Here, you only had to pay 10, but you would have been willing to pay 100. Let's say this is 10. So you would have been willing to pay up here at 100. The difference between the two is your surplus. So you have 90, a surplus of 90. And then you, for the second slice, uh, so slice one, slice two, you would have willing to pay 80, but you only had to pay 10, and so on. Until finally, your marginal benefit equaled your marginal cost. All this area in the blue is gonna be my consumer surplus. The producer also has a surplus. They would have been willing to sell at a lower price, but were able to charge a higher price, and so on. And so the red triangle is my producer surplus. Finally, we can use marginal benefit and marginal cost to make a decision between two alternatives. So for example, let's say you have a date night with your boyfriend or girlfriend. You're deciding should you go to the movies or ice skating. So go to the movies, we have a cost of 300 for the movie tickets. A benefit, so your happiness quantified in dollars and your, your friends benefit. So together you'd have a benefit of 600. Ice skating, you have a cost of 1,000 and a benefit for the two of you of 1,500. So, which would you choose, movies or ice skating? There's a math formula, okay? So we can do MB1 divided by MC1 and MB2 divided by MC2. We wanna solve for that, so I'll have 600 over the 300 and 1500 divided by 1000. So I'll have two and 1.5. We wanna choose the bigger number. The bigger number is the one we'll select. So I'm gonna choose movies. A two is bigger than 1.5. What this two means is, for every one in cost, you have two in benefit. And what this is saying is for every one in cost, you only have 1.5 in benefit. So this is giving you more benefit to cost ratio. So you would choose to go see the movies. So that's a quick summary on how marginal utility works. Thank you.